Hello, everyone. My name is Karen Davis, and I am the Publications Director for the Camera Club of Richmond. I wanted to welcome you to our newest Spotlight, our CCR Spotlight. We are happy to be here with one of our newer, and we agreed he can be a retread or recycled um, member to the Camera Club of Richmond. This We're singing together with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this is Fred Morton. Uh, Fred is a certified professional photographer and he's a member of the Professional Photographers of America and also the Virginia Professional Photographers Association, where he is the first vice president. No, just, just took over as president uh, two weeks ago. Okay, yeah. well, congratulations, got a promotion. All right. uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, a great, it's a great organization. More it is, yeah. yes, definitely. And he's won some really cool awards, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about those awards in a little bit. Um, but I wanted to find out just a little bit about Fred personally before we get into all the, the details. Um, I, number one, it's, it's great to be back in the club again. Uh, Karen may ask me later what brought me back. I, I love the club. I was in, in the, I guess, 2010 to 13 or 14, and then I decided to go back to John Toller and get an associate's degree in fine arts. And the classes that I was taking were all on Wednesday night. So. I moved away from the club and actually reconnected through a number of you all uh, participating with BPPA. I saw some wonderful work in competition, reminded me how great the photographers of the camera club are, and I said, you know what, I want to be part of that. So I rejoined about a year ago. Um, I had a camera in my hand my whole life, uh, starting with one of those little brownie things and sometimes the cardboard covered ones. Then when I was 14, my parents gave me a Baldo, which was a German single lens reflex camera. The company's out of business now. I still have the camera. I thought it would be an antique of value. And I went online a couple of weeks ago and looked, and you know, I, I can sell it for 50 bucks. So, but it, and actually I took it to a, uh, an old camera store in Charlottesville that does restorations and the camera works. So it's kind of cool. I've done a little bit of film stuff. Um, I've done a number of things over the course of my career. Uh, I worked full time in a bookstore for a while. I was in the Army for four years, three years in Southeast Asia. But wherever I traveled, I had a camera with me. And uh, went back to school. I finally, at about the age of 30, decided what I wanted to do, and that was teaching. And so I taught, uh, had a couple of principalships. Worked for a nonprofit for a while in two superintendencies and retired from Henrico as superintendent there uh, in 2009 okay. and worked at Maggie Walker for a couple of years. Uh, starting in 2004, I knew that when I eventually uh, stepped down from education, I, I was young, still wanted to be active, and I wanted to run my own business, uh, be only beholden to one person, me. And uh, so uh, I started building my kit uh, back when I was still working full time. And I'd been a Canon film shooter at that point in time. The feel of the Nikon felt like the older Canon cameras. And so I made the decision to go with Nikon and have a look back. Um, and I officially started my business, I guess, about 2013, but I've also uh, done a lot of travel. In my business, I focus predominantly on education events, uh, a few weddings a year, uh, corporate events, uh, headshots, uh, and some storytelling for clients on location with their families, with son and mother, and that kind of thing. So, fairly eclectic, yeah. but that has some focus when I started out. When I started out, folks say, can you do this? And the answer was, Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, not knowing how, but I figured it out. And you've got to know your equipment. You've got to know the light. So that may be more than what you wanted to know, yeah, but that's me in a nutshell. That's fabulous. Yeah. Um, and so we, we talked about some of your awards and all of the things that you mentioned that you've been shooting. You didn't mention architecture, but I believe one of your awards was actually for architecture. Uh, well, as part of it, as I opened my business, and it was very slow starting, I worked part time for a uh, um, local firm that did uh, real estate photography, which is architecture for sure. And uh, I probably spent about a year and a half did, uh, doing that, and there was a downturn, and the company laid off all the part time people, and so I just moved myself to what I was doing full time. Um, but uh, uh, getting the lines and, and, and 
contrast and colors and when we have multiple lighting and rooms and houses is a real challenge uh, and so I learned a lot doing it. Um, I had an opportunity to uh, take pictures of an audio room from a fellow, his name is Ken Fritz, he probably has one of the best audio set up, certainly I've ever seen. And I spent an afternoon with him and uh, one of the images uh, two years ago won the Virginia uh, Professional Photographer's Architectural Award. So that was pretty that thrilling. That was <laughs> very, very thrilling. I know, in 2020, I believe you said. Yes. And then this year, you um, achieved the Best Photojournalism Award. I, the I, I did. I, I had a good year this year. I had, uh, I think, uh, I think I had five uh, American Blue Ribbon images. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the best photojournalism journalism was a really neat picture. When it snows, as you all know in Richmond, we don't get much snow, but when it, when it does, uh, I've normally had either an all-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, I'll wait till things settle down a little bit, and then I go out looking. And this was a couple years ago, and it was down on Broad Street. It was snowing to beat the band. It was not any traffic. I just pulled one side of the road, got out and stood at the center of Broad Street, and looked up the street, and there was a lady crossing the street, and there was a one-way sign this way, and she was going opposite the dog was tugging at the leash, and I snapped the picture and called it the wrong way, we gotta go. Uh, and that that image, uh, so I did well with it. Exactly, and the title probably did a lot for focusing them on what you were trying to tell or the story you were telling them. Yeah, we can talk about that's something that being a part of VPPA Virginia, Virginia Professional Photographers and PPA Professional Photographers of America. Uh, when you're in competition, you give your image a title and um, and it's a challenge to do that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I, early on, I thought it might be easy and not so much. And you can have a title that describes completely from what you're trying to mm -hmm. say to them. All right, and then all of that came together to give you um, membership in the exclusive group of the top 10 photographers of the year. They do, what they do is they take your top six images, they average your scores, and the people that have the mm -hmm. 10 highest scores are in the top 10. Wow. So, awesome. And that was pretty thrilling. That certainly, uh, this past year has been my best year within VPP and PPA. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, now, do you do any travel photography? I understand you do a little bit of traveling. Uh, I've done a lot of traveling, actually, even when I was still a superintendent. Um, I went on an exchange program to Scotland and the Netherlands. Uh, Henrico County has a sister relationship with Yongju City in north of Seoul, Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had a camera with me and was taking pictures. And then 2016, I had an opportunity to go with a friend uh, Cuba. And of all the travel that I've done, uh, that and India are probably my mm -hmm. two favorite places. And I, I actually went in January uh, 2016 and connected with a Cuban photographer. We became good friends. Went back again uh, in September mm -hmm. of 2016. Got some extraordinary images, one of which, uh, I'm, I'm a member of the Nikonians. They're not connected to Nikon, but they're about 250, 300,000 mm -hmm. people all over the world, most of whom shoot Nikon, and they have annual competitions, and um, they have an international panel, panel of about 15 judges, and I took an image nighttime in Havana, and it ended up mm -hmm. uh, being one of the winners in 2017. We saw that in the lobby, so we'll have to show that to the folks, too. Right, and actually that image also uh, was a blue rib ribbon image in Virginia. Yeah. Okay, super. All right. Um, so we'll, we'll share some of those images. We'll insert them into our interview here. But uh, we are also, we got some great news. We're excited that you were going to be our presenter at the Camera Club of Richmond meeting in March. And we're going to talk about, I think, some of street photography, photojournalism, and then something new that the PPA is calling this. Well, I, I, actually, I mean, it's the... PPA decided that just to put those together and call it Reportage. Um, and that's part of the international competition. You'll see images in there. It really is photojournalism, but there, there is a huge discussion about photojournalism, street photography. From my perspective, it's thinking about the essence of what you're trying to do to capture a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And uh, in those images, uh, they do allow some basic editing. So it's mm -hmm. like not a, just your raw file. Um, photojournalists, uh, a lot of the major organizations you work for, they want your raw file. Mm -hmm. um, so that's different. There's actually now at PTA, uh, our national organization, a raw competition straight out of camera, oh, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to do that uh, this year. And if you see this before we have our annual convention in Virginia this year, the end of February, look, check out the photo competition. It's a great opportunity to sort of test yourself in a new and different way. And I think Ross would be one of those guys. Oh, that's a good challenge. But I'm excited to work with you all and talk about it. And I'm looking at it. Uh, I think many of you all are not only as good, but much better for than I am. It's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I'm here. I can grow from looking at other people's work. Oh, but having a, a dialogue and thinking through, um, you know, what does it mean to take your camera out on the street and capture images mm -hmm. as a photojournalist or as a street photographer? Right. So, right. It'll be fun to do. It will, it will yeah. be fun. So after we hear um, Fred talk a little bit more about this genre of photography in March, we're hoping to have and be able to get out again and get together as a group, maybe have a couple of meetups where we can go practice our photojournalism and our reportage and our street photography. And then, as a bonus, Fred will come back in April and we will have an assigned subject along those lines and an evaluation. And Fred has agreed to be our evaluator. Thrilled, so, thrilled to do it. Yeah, and, you know, I, I mean, I, I'll be evaluating myself just as hard at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, and, you, and, I, and I know from a personal standpoint, I learned so much from the evaluations after I got over the initial fear of, oh my gosh, my image is going to be up there and people are looking at it and hearing what someone else is saying about it. But I learned so much from that and then from seeing everybody else's images, just like you said. It, you, you learn from that feedback. You know, I, I'm glad you said that, Karen, because it, it, there's another connection here. Early on when I was in the camera club, thought, you know, I'm not going to put any of my images mm -hmm. in. Well, I put some in, and Anthony Rumley, this was, I don't know, maybe 11, nine years ago, I don't know. He came and uh, did an evaluation for us. And I was irritated by some of it, and I was the stuff he liked, I was thrilled, of course. The stuff he didn't like, I'm going, well, wait a minute, you know. And yeah. then you go, well, wait a minute, that there's something good going on here. And I took a class or two with Anthony, which is how I connected with BPPA. So really, the camera club is sort of responsible for me sort of being in the place I am right now and the connections it provides. Super. And you've circled around. We love it. Um, I, I, I'd encourage everybody to, you know, whatever an assignment something is, give it a whirl, try it out, get outside your comfort zone. Uh, I've become comfortable with critique. You've got to be comfortable in your own shoes. and uh, in our case, we have a panel of judges that are mm -hmm. doing it, and the judging is, is tough. But I can say honestly, the image competition uh, in Virginia and nationally has made me a better photographer and has helped my business. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, that's for whatever it's worth. <laughs> I'm always learning. So, um, Fred, do you have a, a website, online presence, where we can see you more? I, I do. Uh, in all honesty, it needs quite a bit of work. Uh, we're all in that place if we have one, but it's fredmorton.photo, P-H-O-T-O. Okay. And all you have to do is type that in. That's super. We'll put a little link in this. And then um, any parting words of wisdom quotes that are especially meaningful to you, something you'd like to leave us with? Um, every day, uh, I will spend 30 minutes looking at other photographers' work. Um, and I'm very eclectic uh, in the people I choose. Sometimes I will go back to some of the historical greats. Uh, sometimes I will just do a web search and get a current photographer who I don't know. I do like to look at a lot of social, social documentary photojournalism work. Um, actually, that work in street photography came into my work as I do um, conferences or weddings. I, I want to capture a moment. I want to tell a story. And I want to do more than just a snapshot. I don't want to take pictures the way other people do, but I find looking at other people's work causes me to think deeper about my own work. So 
to encourage everyone. Mm -hmm. That's great. In just 30 minutes. Don't, don't overdo it. Yeah, just a little bit. Mm, great advice. All right. Well, thank you again, Fred, for my being with us and sharing some of your successes and some of your insights. And we're looking forward to having you at our March meeting and then again in our April meeting. Yeah, I'm thrilled and to do it. Maybe at some point we'll all get back together in person and, and be able to, uh, to share. Handshakes. And well, who knows? And keep, <laughs> keep shooting in the meantime. Yeah, exactly. Know, get out and do it. You can get out there and do it with a mask or without a mask. Or depending Take a picture of yourself with a mask. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you so much. And again, this is CCR Spotlights. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this. See everybody soon. Right. Take care.